Greetings to you, traveler. Please, sit down and join us. We have a business proposition for you. But first, introductions are in order, I think. My name is Aloysius. I'm a mage and the nominal leader of our little band of adventurers. I've been practicing the arcane arts for many, many years. This strong, handsome fellow to my right is Bran. He takes over the role of leader when we find ourselves in a situation requiring the use of the sword rather than diplomacy. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Seated just beside you is Delios, our healer in company and resident herbalist. It's his job to pick up all the loose fingers and toes after a battle and make sure they get reattached to the rightful owner. And to warn us against eating the wrong sort of berries and plants when we're traipsing about in the wilderness. How do you do? And sitting just there in the corner with their back to the wall is Orea, an elven ranger of considerable knowledge and skill. They see to it that we have enough to eat while adventuring, and that we don't get eaten ourselves by the beasts of the forests. Now, this isn't something that we're of a mind to spread around the town, traveler. And don't take this the wrong way. But we know who you are. A certain thief, fitting your description, is currently on the loose after a very narrow escape from the king's dungeons in the capital city. We've heard rumors that they might have made their way out of the periphery, hoping to lay low for a while and avoid notice. It's what I do myself in the same situation. Furthermore, we've heard stories of the exploits of this thief while at large in the capital prior to capture quite the daring and versatile rogue they are. A lot of useful skills and talents. We'd like to make use of some of those talents ourselves on our next trip out into the wilderness. Hear me out, traveler. You want to go someplace where you won't be found out by the law. Well, the wilderness just beyond these border towns is just that. But you don't strike me as the sort who just wants to lay up in a shack in the woods and do nothing. I'll warrant you're looking for something exciting to fill the time before you go back towards the core of the kingdom. No doubt to resume robbing the nobles blind again. Which we've no problem with, by the way. Most of those nobles are a rotten lot anyway. Living off the sweat of the peasants and extorting the folk of the towns with all their taxes and rents. Un veror sur la noblesse. Agreed. We can offer you a fair amount of excitement, along with simple, wholesome, outdoor living while we're adventuring, always good for the spirit, and an equal share in the spoils and treasures we're sure to come across on our journey. You'll also get a chance to use that fancy curved blade of yours at some point. I watched you walk into the tavern, and the way you moved when you came over to join us. I bet money you know how to use more than just a lockpick. You're certainly a mean hand with a knife in the dark, or I'm no judge of fighting folk. And if any of the places we get into have any traps or locks we can't get past, well, that's just another reason we could use you along on the trip. So, what do you say, Traveler? Care to take up with us for a time? Clean living? The fresh wilderness air? Out of sight of the law? With a good chance of material gain into the bargain? On se pensant que nous ne soyons pas tout mange par un dragon ou quelque chose. Ever the optimist, Aurea. So, how about it, Traveler? Splendid. We'll meet up outside the blacksmith's shop in the morning, 
and set out directly from there. We're glad to have you with us, Traveler. I'm sure you'll have quite the adventure. Well, Thief, I can call you Thief now. We're out and away from any pioneers in the town, right? How are you enjoying the rugged life of the adventurer? Hot weather for walking, cold damp nights, hard ground to sleep on, and the finest of dried travel food and whatever the elf manages to shoot for us each evening? Wild turkey the first night out. Rabbits and squirrels since then. A bit of venison would go nice for a change. Trouvamment, c'est le mot fait de mon soir, Brown. Et vous allez travailler pendant vos démoches. What they say, Aloysius? I fear I'll never have the ear for that elven lingo. They said you're in for a very special surprise for dinner tomorrow night. A fair question, thief. If the old texts in this cartography tome are to be trusted, and I believe they are, then we should only have another day of travel ahead of us, two at most. And then we'll have reached the ruins of the Temple of the Bulls. It's an old, old place, fallen into ruin well before the collapse of the old empire and the rise of the present ruling kingdoms. It can't have been used in a couple of hundred years at least. It's possible that some goblins or similar nuisance creatures are using it as a dwelling place, but they shouldn't pose too much of a threat to us, and likely we can scare them off with little in the way of actual combat. And what wonderful treasure is supposed to be waiting there for us, do you know? Wouldn't it all have gotten carted off decades ago by treasure hunters like us? You would think so, but apparently there's a legend that's passed into local folklore concerning the place. The Temple of the Bulls was supposed to be the center of a cult that worshipped some sort of half-man, half-bull deity. So the story goes, this deity would manifest itself in physical form during the cult's rituals, and watch over the place to make sure no one defiled the sacred grounds. There was even supposed to be some sort of hidden underground ritual chamber where the most sacred rites were held at set times of the year. It was rumored that most of the temple's accumulated wealth was kept somewhere in that chamber. No one's been out this way in ages though, so there's no telling how easy the place will be to get into. But I've got a gut feeling that the trip we've made to find this place will be well worth the effort. When we get ourselves out of this valley tomorrow morning and up onto the highlands again, we should be able to find the place with little difficulty. And as I said, it should be only another day of travel to get to the temple site. Two at the very most. The thief's got a point. Any sort of treasure room in that place is bound to have at least some traps or the like to keep out would-be robbers. That's likely to be more dangerous than monsters. Which is why it's lucky we have a thief with us. To bypass or disable exactly those sorts of hazards. I hope there's something there worth fighting over this treasure. Nothing too perilous, you know. Just... I'm getting a bit tired of swinging my sword at nothing but vines and brambles. Maybe Aurea could find us an easier path than the one we've been chopping for ourselves through all this riot of undergrowth. Le surf va fasciner le long du chemin que Jean le bouffe carrière. J'espérais que ton fond avec ses mots fantaisants. Eh? How's that again? Aurea says that the going should be easier tomorrow, if we travel with care. I think it's time we turned in for the night. If we rise early, we ought to be able to make our way up and out of this valley by mid-morning. Bran, 
You can have the first round of watching tonight. Orea can take the middle watch, and they can wake the thief to keep the watch before dawn. Not but what I doubt there's much out here worth worrying about. I think what danger there is, waits for us at the temple. Good night to you all now.